So uh, I'm working on my fairy shrine. And um, I walked around the house yesterday looking for um, stands or holders. I played with some wire for a while. Um, and I looked at all of the candle holders that I had in the house. This one was sitting on the windowsill of my workroom. And so it's very dusty and covered with cobwebs. Um, and it used to be straight, so the candle holder went uh, straight from here all the way up. And I've sort of bent it a little bit to emphasize the asymmetrical thing that I want to do. And uh, this tin was the winner. Um, but only because um, this one is too small. And just proportionally, it it looks too small for the base. Um, so this one is the one I'm going to use. And at first I thought that the embossing on the tin was going to be a pain in the neck, but now I sort of like it and I, I might retain some of it. Um, and then instead of doing wings behind the tin, I thought I might perch an oversized butterfly that I've painted up on top like this. Uh, maybe not like that exactly, but something like that. Or on this side, I don't know, I'm still working on that. But some kind of butterfly type object that's oversized, because then I want to uh, do a little fairy standing. Um, so that's the current plan. Um, I'm wishing that this was silver, uh, and I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Um, I could try to take the finish off, but I have a feeling that it's iron underneath. Um, so that won't work. Uh, maybe I'll leaf it. Uh, maybe I'll paint it. Maybe I'll come up with some other idea. Maybe it will be green and I'll do silver leaves and turn this into sort of a leafy, viney thing. Um, I'm still sort of trying to figure out how this fits with this. Um, I kind of want to leave the metal bare. Uh, I want to paint something that goes in the background here and paint a little fairy that stands and paint wings for her. Um, and then I'm thinking paper flowers, painted butterfly. So I'm kind of getting there. Um, I just, um, I need to work on what's going to happen. Oops. What's going to happen with this base, um, and how it's going to become part of, uh, this piece rather than, uh, a separate thing. Cause right now it looks like, Oh, I, drop some metal things on top of this black base and it has nothing to do with the rest of it. So I need to um, make these things live in the same world.